Hi guys, Andy here. I've got what I uh, I think is a very handy application called Rotation Orientation Manager. Um, I should give a shout out to the All About Android crew. You can find them on YouTube. I particularly listen to them on podcast. It's a very good podcast and this is where I heard about the app. And I thought to myself, actually, that'd be really handy for me. Essentially, it just gives you better control over the orientation of your phone. Now, there are times I'm laying in bed perhaps and when you've got your phone at a funny angle, it sometimes it just decides, oh, you want to rotate. Um, and basically, even though, actually, I'll show you first of all, auto-rotate is selected at the top there. But I'm going to turn it sideways, look. Nothing happens. I'm going to do that in Google Plus as well. I'll turn it sideways. Nothing happens. I'm then going to go into Gallery. And let's go to photo of people playing pool. And it rotates. And it rotates back. But again, just to show you, uh, I don't know which is one that I wouldn't. Well, the Play Store, I suppose. So basically, this app, and there, there it is, a rotation. You, you need to uh, give it permissions when you start. Let me see if I can find where what that looks like. I can't remember where it asks. Um, there are some settings that will start on boot. You get a notification that shows when it's running. You can have um, toasts, I think they're called, aren't they? Oopsie. Uh, uh, there's all kind of extra things, to be honest, that I've not really mucked about with. There we go. So advanced algorithm permissions. So this pops up. The first time when I installed this, I didn't quite understand what it... I thought it, so it says usage data access. And I kind of thought it was some sort of feedback type thing, passing information, and I, I did denied it. But then I've realized you do need to turn it on for it to work, basically. So don't make the same mistake I did. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't messed in detail with all these other stuff. You can have toggles and widgets. If I will show you, let's go, let's find a widget. Or at least look at the widgets. Uh, PR rotation, there we are. So rotation dynamic widget. Rotation mode widget, rotation service widget, and just a shortcut. So you can use those. Let me show you the actual app though, uh, and you and how it's how it works. So global orientation look. I've got it to force portrait. Now you can you can reverse portrait. You can force landscape or reverse landscape. So there's quite a few different options as your 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 standard, your global orientation. And then we go into per app settings. And this is the useful bit for me. So I can go to a particular app. In fact, I think it's put them all at the top. So things that I think, well, gallery, for example, I would want that just to rotate whichever way I'm holding the phone. There will be some photos I want to look at in portrait, but most, or you know, a lot of them will be in landscape. So I, I leave auto rotation on. Um, Anything where I'm kind of watching, looking at media, games, I've set them to, to use the normal auto, auto portrait, uh, auto rotate, like VLC. Or ways, there might be times I want to, sat, uh, you know, use the sat nav type thing sideways. YouTube, but then all the others from then on downwards basically lock into place. And if I wanted to change them, I just tap one and I just set. So at the moment it's global orientation, but I can choose any of those. So that's it. There is there is more detail to it. I haven't used that to be honest, and for me, it's just all about the the app specific uh, use cases. So I thought it was pretty handy. I thought I'd show you about it. Please do comment if you if you do use the other elements to it and you find them very handy. But uh, but that is it. It's rotation orientation manager found on the Play Store for free. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.